You know, a lot of people will take out their phones and record and not help a person. I decided to jump in. The tables are turned on a suspected thief when a customer who just so happens to be a black belt takes matters into his own hands. It unfolded on the city's north side and it was all caught on video. Casey Cronus has the story. The customer who stepped in when things went south has more than 20 years of jujitsu training and tells us in that moment his instincts took over. Come on, mom, I'm not letting you go, man. You're a harassing little girl. What? And then you saw that you saw that the 7-Eleven employee. It started as a trip to the store to buy Slurpees for his kids. But soon, Idris Redzovic found himself taking down an alleged thief. Let me go then. I'm not going to let you go until the cops come. The owner of the Supreme Academy of Jiu-Jitsu in Lincoln Park is a third-degree Gracie Jiu-Jitsu black belt. Last Thursday night, while at 7-Eleven on Ashland and Lawrence, Radzovic says he saw a man harassing people outside. He comes up to me and says, what are you looking at? In my training, I tell people, take a step back, hands up, don't engage unless you feel safe. But Redzovic says when the man went into the store and punched an employee, he'd seen enough. Jumped in, grabbed him like I do in training here, put him down, flattened him like a pancake, and then I tied him up like a pretzel. For 18 minutes, Redzovic live streamed the ordeal, pinning the man down until police arrived. And he started bothering this guy. And then he swung at this guy, started attacking this guy, and that's when I jumped in and took him down to the ground. Earlier in the day, police say that same suspect had stolen from the store. 30-year-old Christopher Cruz was arrested and charged with two misdemeanor counts of retail theft and battery. You know, sometimes people come to us after something happens to learn self-defense. Why not learn it now? 